Yeah, good morning, Blaine. Hopefully you, the line isn't as bad this time. Very critical indeed to that stimulus package and plan for South Africa. Critical, and it is at least the fourth in the last decade. But can we work it uh, around this time? As you said, joined by Finance Minister Ntlantlanene. Minister, thank you so much for your time this morning. I suppose my question is... The, the implementation and the plan of this is going to be quite key for you because you have to string the numbers together. Um, how confident are you that we have the fiscal uh, space to at least implement all the plans set out today? Indeed, we are confident. As you heard, that the president was very emphatic and uh, uh, clear that um, the, it comprises of a, a you know, non-financials, uh, the, the stimulus itself, but it also comprises of the financials where we actually have been reprioritizing uh, resources in order to focus on uh, key areas. And as I said in my response also to the question about uh, where we're getting it from, and uh, we actually are, have um, actually gone through an excruciating process of looking at underperforming programs, um, looked at uh, programs that um, if you have agency of implementing something uh, which might not necessarily be agent and uh, so there are trade-offs uh, so with the regards to the resources we are comfortable that we are uh, we will be able to finance the yeah. will this plan be fiscal neutral we actually it, it has to be positive actually it i don't think it's entirely neutral uh, it's neutral in that we are not intru introducing new resources but we are also bringing in uh, we're crowding in external resources which only come in in order to um, um, you know get economic um, 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 returns out of the process but at the same time we're creating an environment um, for the private sector but also for departments themselves to begin to to refocus their attention and and um, correct the issue uh, of um, um, the quality of expenditure yeah. such that we, re we, we uh, actually are able to get both economic and social returns. Is the plan over the medium term framework then? Is it over the next three years? Are you just looking at it particularly got, just for one it's got, year? It's got all elements. It's a, an imme immediate response, but also we've got the medium to long term um, um, elements of the, of the package. At what stage do we then begin to judge it with regards to its effectiveness, whether it's working or not? Well, there are a number of mil milestones. I must say that um, in the coming uh, few weeks, you also are going to be seeing the relevant ministers, as the, the president spoke about the visa requirements, the spectrum. All of those would actually be coming to the public. Um, 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 minerals and uh, uh, mineral resources minister is going to be uh, um, uh, coming up with the finalization of his charter. All of those, but then uh, come the medium term budget policy statement, we should then begin to put pegs. And um, as the president goes to the state of the nation again next year, we should be able to get feedback on, um, uh, on I mean, uh, progress uh, between now and then. And um, at budget time, and um, the milestones will all, uh, always be. Um, just the normal milestones, but at the same time, many, the relevant ministers will also have to report on progress on a regular basis. In terms of accountability, the minister didn't necessarily have, I mean, the president's, my apologies, didn't necessarily have the greatest detail when it comes to who exactly is responsible for what. When do we start holding people accountable for it, and, and who exactly do we now hold accountable for this plan? Actually, all of the elements of the package have, uh, um, you know, um, relevant ministries uh, that are responsible for it. For instance, I said on the nine financials when we talk about visa requirements there is the ministry of uh, home affairs but also um, they, they have been working together with uh, the minister of tourism but uh, also when we talk about uh, the attraction of skills we're talking to minister of higher education we're talking to minister in uh, science and technology so it, the relevant ministers will be held um, um, uh, accountable. How complete are you then with your budget? You have uh, about a month or so to go now, the midterm budget uh, policy statement. How far are you with regards to completion? It's never complete until the day. <laughs> okay, and just a very final question with regards to growth. We saw the Reserve Bank yesterday um, cutting its growth outlook for 2017. Still a bit optimistic for next year and the year after, sorry, 2018. Do you see yourselves perhaps re-looking at that figure as well in the MTBPS and maybe headed lower as well? Well, we um, always uh, realistically revise the numbers and it's, it's part of um, the, the work that we are doing uh, to see where, where the numbers would stand. Yeah, so headed lower at all? Well, uh, the, 
non-disclosure that I signed at the beginning stands. Uh, may wait for a medium-term budget policy statement. Minister Nene, I appreciate your time this morning. That is uh, Finance Minister Ntlantla Nene detailing, of course, just what he sees and what he believes is certainly the case for when uh, these things need to be implemented, when the strategy and the plan and the framework needs to come together, indeed, in order to boost South Africa's economy. A lot rides on him, and October 24th is when that medium-term budget policy statement will be released by Finance Minister Ntlantla Nene at 3 p.m. or so yeah. on that day. So we'll be eagerly watching that for perhaps more detail and more numbers as well. Blaine. Yeah, lots riding on him as well as the president as well. Arabila Gumede, thank you very much indeed for your reporting.